Hey everybody, it's Nick here from Grayscale Gorilla, and I'm excited to show you our brand new plugin called Social Frame. Now we created Social Frame to help you visualize, crop, and render specific aspect ratios for different social media sites. Now, if you've ever had clients ask you for different aspect ratios for every render, this plugin is gonna help speed up that entire workflow and help you work much faster. So let's get started and let me show you Social Frame. All right, here we are in Cinema 4D and we have our scene set up. We have a little 16 by nine ratio going on. And how often is it that you either want to see what this looks like crop square, or maybe your uh, client or customer is asking for that? Well, there's really not a great way to do that. Uh, in fact, if you go up to your uh, render settings and you make this a square frame and you come back to your viewport, well, all it did was add pixels to it. And now you have this little teeny little render here and all this extra room around it. And in fact, if we hit render here, you see now we're seeing the ceiling and all this stuff that we didn't want in our original render. What you actually want is to keep the crop and zoom in. But you can see by default, Cinema 4D doesn't allow you to quickly see these settings. We can also, um, you know, maybe just block it with your hands or something like that. But what if you wanted more control and what if you wanted to easily jump between different aspect ratios right within your scene? Well, let's go back to where we started here. And this is why we created Social Frame. So Social Frame uh, sits on top of your camera as a tag and you'll find it right up in here under tags. Once you have it installed with Grayscale Gorilla Plus, you can go ahead and click Social Frame and you can see right away it adds a uh, tag and it adds a square crop ratio right to your scene. And now you're seeing the real cropping of how this widescreen, this nine, uh, 16 by nine image, will be cropped if you upload it to something like Instagram or your client does. And this is the actual crop you want. Um, so first of all, let's talk about the vertical guides just so you can visualize uh, what your different croppings would look like. And then we're gonna talk about some of the more detailed settings like our set output here in just a moment. First of all, you can come down here and click different ratios. So Instagram stories are very tall to fit the iPhone here. And you can see what it would look like cropped to an Instagram story. And uh, you may want to zoom out a little bit to add um, uh, to make sure that this isn't uh, being cropped off. We also have other popular social media sites like Dribbble. Um, and you could set and visualize all this. And if you remember like title safe from back in the day, you want to make sure that no matter where your customer or your client or you upload this thing, uh, that it has the most important information in the crop. So what if now you wanted to not only see what it would look like, uh, but you wanted to change your camera directly to this without changing the uh, overall cropping and aspect ratio? Well, this uh, is right here in our set output settings. This works with any one of these ratios. All you have to do is click uh, set input. I click the wrong one. Let's click the square one. And uh, this is gonna say, are you sure I'm about to change your uh, project? And all you have to do is say, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. And now you're getting the zoomed in crop ready for render or ready for uh, to show your client. So now if we zoom out here in the IPR, you see we have this nice square crop and all it did was crop off the sides. And, and more, most importantly, it did it without affecting the, um, the, the lens and the ratio. We did all that math for you right within social frame. Okay, so you can also undo, which is really powerful. So let's just undo and go back to our 16 by nine and reset our IPR. I could zoom in just a little bit here. All right, that looks good. Now, what else can we do? Well, of course you could set your output for any one of these. Um, and it also uh, lets you do things like horizontal guides. So let's uh, talk about horizontal guides where we can actually check things like Facebook posts. Um, uh, Twitter header is a popular one. You could see how narrow this one is as a Twitter header. Um, and in this one, let's go into the advanced settings and let me show you that you can adjust your opacity to make it even darker. And if you wanna see your lines even thicker, or you're on a high resolution monitor, you can crank this up as well and get a more, you know, you could go all the way and crop it all the way to 100%. And all you're doing is you're visualizing it without having to render it. Okay, so in this case, you may wanna zoom out a little bit and maybe make this a little bit more zoomed out so it 
hits our wider crop. And when we come back to our main, it still looks good on our 16 by nine. Now, uh, let's go back to vertical guys because I wanna show you the export settings. This is really powerful here. Right within um, Social Frame, you can export different resolutions. So this isn't just for visualizing your scene. You can actually export different croppings and different takes so that when you go to render, you get all of these aspects uh, ratios without having to change your scene and make multiple copies and multiple renders. So let me show you how this works. Let's go ahead and uh, frame up our scene here. And uh, this, let's just do this one. So we'll have a 16 by nine ratio, which is the original. We have our square ratio, which is obviously pretty popular. And let's go ahead and do an Instagram story too. Uh, we use those all the time here at Grayscale Gorilla. And it's gonna show this cropping. So I'm gonna turn off the mask and you can adjust the mask to whatever one you wanna visualize. I'm just gonna turn this off and we can see now we have three different croppings of this scene. And in this case, I actually want to output all three of these, but without having to set up three different cameras, three different ratios and all that. Well, this is where Social Frame gets really powerful. You can come down here to create takes. So all you have to do is click create takes and up in your takes menu, it's gonna make uh, different versions of your scene ready for render and ready to go. So you can see we have specific takes for each one of our renders, including our original Instagram story and Instagram post. And it's really easy now at this point to export these out um, at all of their native resolutions. And in, in fact, if you just go up to render and click render all takes to picture viewer, it'll do that. But if we take one more step, it's gonna add even more uh, detail here as we want to add the take names right within our file. So we come into our save dialog and we use our tokens here. We could say, let's call this um, the project name, okay? And then I'm gonna add an underscore. And then I want to use the take name, current take name. And uh, this is gonna uh, allow us to easily add the title of our scene plus the take name over here as we hit render. And if you're not familiar with tokens, we have other videos about this as well. Very powerful uh, workflow uh, to, to help you really easily name your renders. Okay, so now that we have all that set up, all we have to do is go into our takes menu, go to render, and then click render all takes to picture viewer. And as soon as we do that, it's going to render all three of those um, uh, versions. Our, first of all, our original widescreen version, and then perfectly cropped and perfectly aspect ratioed versions for Instagram as well. Now you can see the power of this, especially if you have more takes in your scene, you're now able to recrop, readjust, and make uh, new creative decisions right inside your scene. And then when you're ready to render, you're not updating multiple different uh, scene files or, or multiple different cameras and different ratios, you could simply go to your takes and re-render them and you are done and ready to go with the proper uh, name and also the proper take name as well. So a uh, really powerful way to speed up your workflows, especially if you're using clients that use social media, which is everybody <laughs> these days. All right, now that, you, now that we have all three of these rendered here, you can see we have not only the project name, but the take name as well. This one ends in Instagram story. This one ends in Instagram post. And all of this was created with social frame uh, right within the plugin. So now you have full creative control and you can come back to your original render, make tweaks, make other decisions. And when you're ready to go, you can use these takes and those tokens to really quickly and easily update your renders. Okay, let's show you a little bit more of what social frame does. Uh, we talked a little bit about horizontal guides, which those are just there to show you uh, croppings that are horizontal and uh, in other formats. But what if you're working already on a square render and want to visualize what all of these lines and croppings would look like? Well, that's where the square image mode comes in. And you can see by default, it is grayed out. And that's because our render is not square. So let's go to our render settings, go to output. And while we're here, I, I did wanna show you that even your output settings are created here. Uh, Social Frame did all of this work for you and set up different uh, output settings if you wanna come back and just re-render one or two of these uh, separately. So you have that option. 
You can also just delete these. And you can also, of course, delete your takes if you just want to start from scratch or you want to add different types of uh, ratios in your render. Okay, so while we're here, let's go ahead and set this up to square 1920 by 1920. Let's go into our viewport and uh, let's take a look at what this scene, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Let's take a look at what this scene would look like in, in our activate square mode. So let's go ahead and activate it. And you can see now we have cropping ratios, not only vertically, but also horizontally. So what is this mode for? Well, this mode is great when you don't know where the final render is going to end up and you just know that your client or wherever this render is gonna end up is gonna be uploaded in many different social media places with different aspect ratios. And what you really wanna do is make sure that the important information will not get cropped out. This is where you could set that up and then essentially render out the square version for your client and then let them upload it wherever they're gonna upload it because at the end of the day, sometimes you don't even know. What this allows you to do is really make sure, like that title safe we used to use, making sure that things are, cro are not cropped off. So what do we do here? So let's, um, first of all, we have HD, which is a very popular cropping. And even if we just do HD, what this is gonna allow us to see is both um, the vertical and horizontal cropping if our, uh, client or customer or boss, whoever gets this render, uploads it to something that crops it 16 by nine. So we can see here, let's go to our advanced and tone down our background just a little bit so that it's not so dark. You can see now we're getting two different croppings, one here and one here. And in both of them, most of the information is actually floating within the middle there. And of course, if you had a word or something in the, in the scene that you didn't want to get cropped off, you're going to want to make sure that that is inside of these masks here. Um, and if we uncheck that, we could actually come down to something that's not so harsh, like 16 by nine, maybe a uh, portrait here. And this is another uh, popular post here or dribble, of course, which is four by three, like a little old school here, four by three, I love it. And again, you wanna make sure that in these popular uh, ratios that major parts of your render or animation is not getting cropped off. Don't forget, Social Frame also works with animation. Just scrub your timeline and make sure that the important bits are inside. And of course, all of these croppings can be color changed. All you have to do in this case is just click on the color palette and you can make this whatever color you want and it'll update all here right away. Down at the bottom, you can see we have enable all and disable all. Uh, just in case you wanna check it on every single cropping, uh, or you just want to quickly remove it all, you can just uh, select disable all and you're all set to go. And of course, if you just want to disable social frame for the moment, you can go up here to the enable disabled checkbox and do that right away. So now no matter what aspect ratio you normally work at, you now have tools to help ensure that your render, your scene, your text will not be cropped off when it is converted or cropped into other aspect ratios. And if you've ever wanted to render all of the different ratios all at once, you now see how much more powerful it is with social frame and takes. We hope this new plugin speeds up your workflow as much as it does ours. And from all of us here at Grayscale Gorilla, thank you guys so much for checking out our brand new plugin. And we will see you in another video really soon. Bye everybody.